The mysterious illness striking thousands of women, causing terrible pain, horrible skin lesions, and a crawling sensation all over the body. For years, doctors struggled to figure out what causes this bizarre condition, if it's even real or just in the victim's head. A warning, some of you might find this next story difficult to watch. You know you have this thing, you can feel it. Stacy Hillman's face looked like it was infested with something, large bumps and sores. For her, it felt like there were microscopic bugs, parasites, living inside her skin. To have literally thousands of those running around on your face, hundreds of thousands. That was three months ago. This is Stacy Hillman today. It's hard to even think about washing the dishes or doing laundry or going to the grocery store because you're consumed by this feeling. She says the crawling sensation was so intense she wouldn't leave the house for four months. Her husband Jeff watched as his wife slipped into a life of constant crying and pain. I couldn't do it. It was, it was not fun. Stacy went to doctor after doctor. They all told her the same thing. They all told me that there was nothing wrong. There's nothing they could do for me. After months of tests and about $50,000 in medical expenses, Stacy reached her breaking point. There was a time she wanted to die. You know, it's something you can, you want to protect your wife. And, you know, there was nothing to, I, I'd, I'd fight anybody, I'd do whatever I couldn't do anything. But there was something wrong. Doctors call the syndrome Morgellons. The illness affects mainly women in their 50s. And just last month, the CDC released a shocking study. Doctors can't figure out what's causing it. And so the report suggests that to some degree, the patients are delusional. It had me wondering, is my wife crazy? How can you look at someone's face, a beautiful person with unusual looking skin, and tell them you're delusional? Dr. Omar Amin is the director of the Parasitology Center in Scottsdale, Arizona. He's been studying Morgellons for several years. And there's no parasites. He says no. There are not any bugs crawling on the skin, but there's no doubt it feels that way. He believes the patient's nerves are damaged, poisoned by a toxin, and the toxin is spreading. It sounds like science fiction, but we have a 100% recovery rate. Dr. Amin says Stacy's part of a small group of people who have a highly allergic reaction to certain chemicals. In Stacy's case, the chemical attacking her body had been there for decades. Mercury leaking from a cracked filling in her tooth. I think the doctors found it. Stacy replaced her fillings with a different substance. It's very emotional because I, I finally realized that, wow, this nightmare is going to end. And life is suddenly good again. We did talk to a few more local dentists who tell us mercury fillings are safe. However, the American Dental Association reports a very small number of people can be allergic to one or more of the metals used in amalgam fillings and it can trigger a reaction similar to a skin allergy. Now the fillings are banned in Norway, Denmark and Sweden.